Let's go to the Gate City, shall we? Greensboro. Uh, Eva Hodgson is a junior at North Carolina, transferred from William & Mary, now playing for the Tar Heels, and better known on the streets as Eva Buckets. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? We're great. Uh, thanks for the time. We were just talking during the break. This is a shorter trip this week. Is that? I'm guessing that's a little more welcomed after uh, the cross-country flight last week to Tucson and back? Definitely. The the 45 to an hour drive is much more doable than a five hour flight. All right, let's get right to it. The bucket. Let's talk about the lid that we got going on here. How did all this get started? What did it cost? Where'd we find it? The whole story. So when we went to Arizona, we had a few days to kill and they let us go to the mall. So we were walking around and we hit up a very rare store to Arizona, Dick Sporting Goods. Uh, and <laughs> we walked in the doors and one of the first things we saw was this bucket hat. And Alyssa goes, Eva, this, this hat is you. And I was like, I mean, okay, sure. So I put it on. I walked around the whole store. And by the end of it, I was like, guys, like, I think I'm in love with this hat. Um, <laughs> and so they, I bought it. I walked out. I don't even know how much it cost, honestly. Um, and then the pins started just adding as we got one. And we got another one. And then someone was like, oh, do you want this ACC one? And I was like, uh, duh. And so then I tossed the ACC hat or pin on my hat um, and I'll get to add another one. And then eventually we'll probably add a UNC one or, you know, whatever pins. If you guys have any pins, I would love to add one to hey, the hat. Hey, Eva, this is no lie. When I saw you talking about it, I was I was scurrying around because I got all kinds of stuff that people have sent us. I have a pin, but it's Woodford Reserve. It's a Woodford Reserve bourbon pin. I don't know if you want that because it's not basketball related, but I swear to you, I will send this to you. But I'm looking around for any kind of thing we could send you to add to the hat. It's the only one I've got. We don't have any Packer about. and Durham pins, or we'd send no, those. We, we don't have, have any Packer like and Durham thing we'd send it to you. But yeah. I've got a Woodford Reserve bourbon pin. Yeah. <laughs> That's all i got right now. I mean, I love it. And eventually I'll Done. make a Packer and Durham one so I can toss that on. I like it. I go. like the way you're thinking. Again, name, image, and likeness. We're always looking for deals, right? We're looking for deals. Um. Here, here's kind of where I want to go a little bit from a basketball situation. Um, brackets came out. I was pretty sideways about the five seeds out of the ACC, to be honest with you, Eve. I, I, didn't, I thought that was a slight by the committee. Um, you, Virginia Tech, you guys all, I thought everybody deserved an opportunity. Notre Dame. I mean, there were five seeds, and it was like, really? Those teams are all good enough to be four seeds. You're all good enough mm -hmm. to host. How much of that factored in to what happened in Arizona last week? I mean, I think this entire year has just been motivation for our team because the whole year people have just kind of thought of us as a second thought. Um, and so we kind of have taken that as just motivation, especially then knowing that we could get back to Greensboro. So, I mean, even since ACC tournament, that wasn't how we wanted to play. Um, and then they put us as a five seed and we're like, all right, we got Arizona. Um, we got to make a statement. And I think that definitely played into how we played. And mm. I also think that played into how Notre Dame played. I mean, you could see it. Like, there's just kind of a chip on all of our shoulders because they slighted us a little bit. Well, the ultimate motivation awaits in Greensboro because Don Staley has not a good program, a great program. And they're the number mm -hmm. one team. Uh, so I know that doesn't take a whole lot to get motivated. And I'm sure when you watch tape, you went, yep, they're legit. They're good. But that's the beauty of the tournament, though, isn't it? Uh, you know, there are surprises. There are upsets. Uh, we've seen some two seeds already get kicked to the curb that you just assume would roll the ball out and win. But when you watch South Carolina on tape, Eva, just tell us all the great things that they do because it's a really talented team. Yeah, I mean, I played against Aaliyah Boston back in high school. Um, and she, mm. I mean, she was a fantastic player then. I mean, their inside game is one of the best in the country. And then you add some of the top guards as well. I mean, they're really able to include everyone on every possession. Um, and they work the ball in and out. They, the way they rebound is like no other. Um, so we're going to have our hands full. But um, kind of similar to Arizona, we have coach has been saying we can't go around teams. We can't go under them or over them. we got to just go through teams. And we got to trust our process and trust the work that we've put in um, and hopefully have some um, – 
some unreal, like some players come into some unreal games that they've had. So, okay. Well, I'll mark you up for coming into the unreal game. How's that? You come <laughs> off the bench anyway. Uh, you're playing about 20 minutes of ball game. I mean, this role seems in the games I watched the other night against Arizona, you seem really comfortable in this role that, that coach Banghart's asked you to take on this year. Yeah. I mean, I'm used to starting. That's what I've done my whole life. But when I came here, she kind of explained to me just where she saw me fitting in. And I, I mean, I've always been the kind of kid that wherever you need me, however long you need me, that's what I'll do. Um, mm. And so that's exactly what I've done this year. She needed me to come off the bench and to give her some consistent minutes in certain ways. And so that's what I do. And I bring the same energy, whether I start or whether I don't. Um, and I'll give you exactly what I'll give you no matter what, where, when I come in or where I play or whatever, like I've played the four sometimes this year and I, I don't even, I never played the four. So <laughs> I'm just, I go with the flow and I do whatever the team needs me to do to win. Eva, how much does it help you for a game like this coming up? The fact that NC state's a one seed mm. Louisville's a one seed. You beat Louisville uh, on your home floor in one yeah. of the craziest ending games I've seen in a long, long time with that ball just sitting there on the rim. Like, <laughs> is, it, is it going in? Is it coming out? It was unbelievable. <laughs> but games like that have got to help you in terms of preparation mm -hmm. and knowing that, hey, we've seen what a one seed looks like. We've beaten a one seed before. So let's roll it out there and go play. It definitely helps. I mean, even the way that we competed with NC State the second time, um, we were right there. And mm -hmm. there's some key moments that if you if you change how those go, um, that's a game that we could win. And we did that for Louisville. So, I mean, it definitely gives us confidence. And watching film, you know they're a great team, but also any team's beatable. And that's kind of the mindset that we have going into this game. All right. I don't know much about New Hampshire. I'd like to visit sometime. Um, but I got to believe Chapel Hill's probably been a pretty good fit after starting your career at William and Mary and having great success. I mean, you were first team all CAA and transferring to Carolina seems to have worked pretty well for you, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I love Chapel Hill and I love our team even more. Um, I mean, I, I enjoyed my years at William and Mary and it taught me a lot, but to play on a team that we're going to the sweet 16 or we're in the sweet 16 and potentially competing for a national championship. Um, I mean, that, I could have never gotten that necessarily at William and Mary. And so it's, um, it's very exciting. By the way, would the uh, bucket look would that have worked at William and Mary's it yeah, a better fit gone, in Chapel yeah. Hill than William and Mary. Well, yeah. how, would you, how would you break that down? It's definitely a better fit in Chapel Hill. I mean, honestly, it might be a decent fit in New Hampshire. I, I just should get on a boat and put I, a fishing rod in my hand. That's see, see, here's where I was thinking. Cause wasn't on golden pond filmed in New Hampshire. Oh, the old Henry Fonda movie. Uh, he was like, "What Eva, generation are you? Talking? You old guys don't know what you're doing." <laughs> Fonda, Henry I Fonda. To talk to about. About that one. Yeah, yeah, exactly yeah, that's it. Right. Yeah, that's your exactly dad, great. Right. Yeah, that's kind of the way I feel. Yeah, um, the uh, the hat is it's it's ripe for fishing. There's no question about that. And if you get enough pins on it, you'll be a local celebrity with the pins. Everybody will be running at you with pins. I know. That's that's kind of the hope. I mean. <laughs> it's an invite. It's an invite for a conversation and for exactly a free right. pin. <laughs> there you go. Hey, I tell you what, it really is an invite for, hey, Dick Sport. Get the camera on me a second. Hey, Dick Sporting Goods. <laughs> Listen to me, Dick Sporting Goods. How about a little NIL? You got a quality student athlete. Somebody quality. Somebody graduated from William and Mary, a student athlete at the University of North Carolina. Yeah. Playing in the women's NCAA tournament. Sporting Dick Sporting Goods stuff. And you guys haven't made a phone call yet to the on. University of North Carolina to get Eva as a spokesperson, if anything else, a modeling opportunity, certainly some cash on the side, well, some NIL. Gear, so anything. I mean, come on, Dick Sporting Goods. Get moving on But this. you know what, though, Eva? I just thought of something else. I think my friend Holly Denbin and, uh, and the folks at Chapel Hill Sportswear right there on uh, Franklin Street might be interested in the uh, Eva limited edition bucket hat. I was honestly thinking that I was like, hold on. I feel like I should, I need to put mm. like my name or March madness or sure. something on this hat and then sell it. So I, I, like, little, the way, have, I, I like the way you're thinking. I do too. I do. I think you got, this is stylish, man. Come on. Who doesn't yep. want to Everybody needs a good bucket hat. Everybody needs one. Yep. There you go. I We're on to something here. We, 
We're going to go for progress reports on this, aren't we, Pac? Yep. Yep. There we go. Right, here's what I want to know, though. I mean, uh -oh. we just had uh, Chris Davis on who plays baseball at Duke, and he transferred from Princeton after getting his degree and now getting multiple degrees at North Carolina. I, Duke, and now here you are. William and Mary got the College of William and Mary. College of, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> College of William and Mary. And now you're in North Carolina. So since you've been at UNC, mm. Eva, it's our traditional mm. question. What has been your hardest class? Oh, um, I mean, anything finance. I think my first finance class in module one back in the fall was definitely our hardest class. That was miserable. I never want to take it again or even look module at finance, honestly. Module one finance? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I'll tell you what, when the sales on this bucket hat come rolling in, you're going to have to be tapping back in that finance department. I'm just saying, because... Yeah. If you hit right. if you hit gold with this, you're going to have to have a handle. Hey, just saying. I, I I do have a little nil related question on this. So Deja mm -hmm. Kelly was with us. How's the uh, yeah. how's that Deja drink at the Dunkin' Donuts on Franklin Street? Have you sampled that? How's that? How does that taste? Is that pretty good? I have yet to sample it. I know a few of our teammates have, and they've said they've said it's pretty good. It's on the sweeter end if you're a sweet tooth, um, but it's pretty good. All right. Little See, little jealous of her in that in that realm because Dunkin' Donuts is very popular up north. Yeah, that's well, the water's different in the northeast. That's why Dunkin' Donuts is lapping Starbucks, right? Yeah, yeah, there it's just so much better up north. I go to the that's Dunkin' right. Donuts down here, and I'm like, no, I just no, I can't. It's I'm telling you, it's a thing. And I'm from the South. I grew up in North Carolina. Lived in Georgia since '95. It's a thing. It, the Dunkin' Donuts in the South is not like Dunkin' Donuts in the Northeast. That's why down South we eat Krispy Kreme donuts. That's right. We eat Krispy Kremes in the South. Or we go to Bojangles, better yet. Yeah. Just saying. So, hey, Eva, you're great. Good luck. We're excited to watch you guys take the floor and, uh, and pull in for you. Tell Coach Banghart we said hello. Definitely will. Thank you guys for your time. You got it. I'm going to get this pinned to you now. Woodford Reserve. Sounds good. It'll be, your, it'll be your first alcoholic beverage sponsor on the bucket. Great. Right. Perfect. Go. <laughs> See the you later. Eva Hodgson. <laughs> That's it. Eva Hodgson of Carolina. <laughs> Terrific. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.